Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to create a GIF. For this assignment, you guys got two options. You guys can either create a GIF out of a picture that you have taken yourself. So here's an image of uh, my godson Leonardo uh, dressed up as Gecko, and I created this GIF of him. So it kind of looks like he's running. Um, I just, you know, created these striped effects so it looks like it's like flashing as he passes by and then I just added pictures of the, like the dust clouds and then I added the words Leo, Leo the Flash. Uh, the second option you have is you can either use artwork that you've created. So, you know, something in my class, you, you should have already done the Andy Warhol assignment, the shoe assignment, the gig poster, etc. And you can create a, uh, a GIF of that as well. So two options, either a picture you've taken or some artwork that you've taken. Here's another example of uh, my family's, my friend's family. And then I just created a GIF for them where, you know, I cropped out each picture of them. And then I added these kind of, you know, artistic effects around it. So those are your two options. So we're going to get into the tutorial now. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my original artworks here to use for this tutorial here. Um, if you are using one of your own uh, arts pieces that you've done in my class you can actually use the original photoshop file that you created your art on so this here i have my photoshop file which i created my logo so if i look, show you all these layers here these are all the separate layers that create my logo just make sure you go to file save as save on your computer and save it as another photoshop file so here i've already called this happy ram logo gif if you take a look at my other files, I still have my original Happy Ram logo Photoshop file. So any edits I make to this GIF file, it will not you know, make edits to my original Happy Ram logo. So I've already done that. I have this saved as my Happy Ram logo GIF. So now I can start to make edits to this. The main concept to a GIF really is, is just a series of layers or frames that are played in order to create your animation. So if I turn the visibility of these layers on in order you can see how my gif is slowly starting to form and it creates that animation so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to create two folders to organize myself one is my non-gif uh folder which has all my layers that create my full logo and then i have my actual gif layers where i've you know, change different things to my logo to create the animation. If you don't know where to create a folder, it's just this guy right here. And then make sure you are labeling your folders uh, appropriately so you can organize yourself. All right, so I'll show you the concept of what I do here. I'm gonna open up my non-GIF layer here. And uh, I wanna create one more frame animation to add to my GIF so that it can change it up a little bit. Uh, I have one where I don't, uh, I have Happy and Ram, but I want Jelly and Jam to show up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my Ram invisible, my Happy and my Ram uh, text invisible like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm, you know what, I'm gonna turn my, take my triangles and I'm just gonna rotate them just a slight bit, just so that I can add another little part that kind of changes. Same with my outer pattern. I'm gonna slightly rotate it like so, just so it's a little different. And then as you can see, this is one frame in my GIF that I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and hold control and select all the layers that are currently visible. Like so. So as you can see, my RAM and my happy and RAM text are not selected. I'm going to right click, I'm going to duplicate the layers, I'm going to press OK. And then without clicking anything else, because you can see that the copies are already automatically selected, I'm going to right click and merge layers. Boom. So now I have this frame and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag this frame to my GIF folder like so. Alright, let's collapse my non-GIF folder, let's make it invisible and let's turn my other one on. Okay, so here's the, the one that I just created, so I'm going to slow double click that one and call it full logo 8 so that will fit in between logo 9 and 7 and then I'm going to drag that in between 9 and 7 like so. All right, and then basically what your assignment is, is you got to create a bunch of different frames that will create your whole GIF and then make sure you're labeling it appropriately. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the last layer that you have. And I have to have 11. And I'm just going to turn on the visibility and just check what the animation kind of looks like. Boom, boom, boom. And then the final product looks like that. Okay, nice. I like the way that it looks. Now what I'm going to do is I got to turn on my timeline window so I'm gonna to go to window and then I'm gonna to go to timeline and I'm gonna open up this guy yours will probably end up looking something like this where it says create frame animation in the middle 
click create frame animation and it'll create an automatic first frame for you. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on this little uh, menu here, open it up and then go to make frames from layers and then click that. And then as you can see, it takes all the layers in your Photoshop file and puts them into this timeline. Now a lot of these frames here are from my non-GIF layer, so I'm going to go ahead, hold shift and select all these guys and then I'm just going to delete them because I don't need them on here. And then this first white screen, I don't want that on there either, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now you can see all the frames that I actually want in my GIF on this timeline and I'm just going to go ahead and press play just to see what it kind of ends up looking like. And you can see the timeline is going through each frame. Now, this is where you kind of get real customizable with your GIF. Uh, my final frame, which is 11 here, I want that one to stay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little arrow here and I'm going to put it on for two seconds. So that way that last frame will play for two seconds. Now I'm going to play it again. And you can see that my last logo or my last frame stays on there for two full seconds. And you can even go around and play with how long each frame will stay on the screen for. All right, and then once that's edited, I'm gonna play it again just to see how the difference is. So you can see it's slowed down a little bit. Uh, you can even go to forever here and then change how many times it loops. Forever automatically is the default, but you can also set it to like three times so it only plays three times. All right, once you like the look of your GIF, you've played it, it looks good, you're gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then you're just gonna click Save. And it should automatically save this whole file as a GIF. Save, Happy RAM logo GIF 2, and I'm gonna go ahead and And then I'm gonna open up this GIF just to see what it looks like. And that's it guys, that's it for the GIF tutorial. Uh, to submit it, just take a video of your GIF on your screen or you could send me the file yourself through Edsby or whatever submission thing I have set up for my class for whatever year it happens to be. Anyways, cheers.